It's a new week. And the Lord says to us today that he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. God is constantly trying to renew us from within. Because child of God, until we change the way we look at things, until we change our minds about the things that happen to us, we might not be able to go forward. God himself is in the business of constantly renewing us and renewing the world. So as he gives us a new week, he's actually inviting us to also change our ways, to change the way we look at things, to change the way we speak, to change the way we act in the world. As long as we continue to renew ourselves, we will not be left behind. It's a spring of water that does not flow is going to become still and it's going to become unhealthy for drinking. As long as the water continuously flows, it renews itself, it remains fit for drinking. So child of God, try and renew the way you see things today. Our first reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 65 from verses 17 to 21. In this text, the Lord says, I'm about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind anymore. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness. Child of God, if you change the way you think, if you dare to change the way you look at things, even if you have known sorrow in the past, today the Lord is saying there's going to be rejoicing and happiness in your life. Many people are stuck where they are because they are still looking at things in 2021 with the same methods that they used to look at things in 2020 or even in the year 2000. We must constantly improve, constantly change our minds and the way we look at things. And if we create a new heaven and a new earth in our lives, God says this morning that there will be rejoicing and happiness in your life. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. God did not create you for misery. God did not create you for suffering. God created you to be his joy and to be his delight. Keep that in the back of your mind as you work through this week. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, nor the sound of crying. God is promising you this week that he wants to take out the sound of crying and weeping from your house. If you claim it, if you accept it and don't just sit there and think, well, things have always happened this way, they're going to keep happening this way. No, God is eminently capable of changing things in our lives and his word is yes and amen. God is not a man that he should lie. In our gospel reading of this morning, we find a situation where things changed. Jesus in John chapter 4 from verses 43 to 54 comes back to Galilee, close to his native country. You know that most of the ministry of Jesus was done in Galilee. So as Jesus comes to Galilee, John reminds us that Jesus had said in the past that a prophet has no honor in his own town. That's why he did not do a lot of miracles in his hometown, simply because the people did not believe in him. They knew him, they didn't give him any attention, and so he couldn't do a lot of miracles there. But of course he did in Cana in Galilee, change water into wine. That was the first and about the only miracle that Jesus did when they had their negative mentality. But the Bible says this morning that when he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. They changed their minds about him because they had been to Jerusalem and they had seen the works that he had done there. Child of God, if you had in the past judged someone wrongly and now you realize that what you thought about this person was wrong, have the humility to now say, oh well, I thought this person was a charlatan, but now I do know that he's a real man of God. I thought this person was not good enough for the job, but now I realize that I made a mistake. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes. The only real mistakes is when we refuse to learn from our mistakes. Child of God, today the Galileans learned from their mistakes. They welcomed Jesus even though in the past they had disregarded him because they thought he was just a son of a carpenter. But now they know that he's Jesus himself, the son of the living God. And See what happens. As soon as their mentality changed, Jesus did a miracle for them. There was a son, or there was a, or there was a Roman official who was working in the court of the king, Herod, whose son was sick. So he came to Jesus and told him that his son was sick. 
And Jesus said, go, your son is healed. And at that very moment, the son became well again. The Bible says that it was a serious sickness and it was going to lead to death. Child of God, if we don't change our minds, we might go to the wall. But if we agree to change our minds, God will speak a word in our lives and things will begin to change. Miracles will begin to happen. Happiness and joy will begin to come into our lives. But it will all start from us changing our minds renewing the way we see the world, renewing the way that we see things. I pray that this new week, God will bless you with a new word and a new miracle and a new sign that will help you to find true joy and happiness in your life and in your family. The Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.